Good evening, everyone. Um, I went to the library earlier today and I got a few books. Um, this one book I got is from an older series. I think they, I think they started it in 95, if not um, older than that. Um, but I've never actually read the series totally through, so I decided I'd start. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, the first one I got, uh, these are all from the library. Uh, the first one I got is, um, It's Left Behind by Tim LaHaye and Jerry Jenkins. Um, and this is the first book in the series, uh, Left Behind. Um, I read the Left Behind the Kids, um, some of the series books of those, and those were good. Uh, so this one ought to be good, too. Um, once I get through reading this, I will do a review on it and let you know how it was. Okay, the second book I got, um, I just happened to see this at the library, and I thought it would be a, a good read. Um, it's, um, it's called The Other Side of Oz. Um, it's by Buddy Ebsen. The foreword is by Bob Hope. Um, here it is. Um, I'm not quite sure what it's really about. Uh, once I read it, I'll have more of an idea. Um, but it, I liked the um, wonderful, you know, The Wizard of Oz. I, re I liked that movie, so this ought to be an interesting read. And I'll do a review on this also when I'm done with it. And the third... <clears throat> the third and final book I picked up was in the newer books. Um, this is only a 14-day loan, so I'll probably read this one first. Um, it's Deep Black, Death Wave. Um, I read the inside cover, the flap, and the back. It, it sounds really good. Um, once again, it's Deep Black Death Wave by S Stephen Kuntz and William Keith. Um, I'll just read you a little bit of the inside flap. Deep within the NSA is Desk 3, a top secret unit of special operatives inserted into the field when the threat is great and the response demands sensitivity and invisibility. Charlie Dean, a former Marine sniper, is a senior officer. With his colleagues, Leah De, De Francesca and newcomer Leah, that's a hard name, they form the core of a high tech team known as Deep Black. Off the coast of Africa lie the beautiful Canary Islands, a resort destination of millionaires. Underneath this idyllic paradise is one of the most volatile fault lines in the world. There, an alliance between radical Islamic terrorists and a rogue element of the Chinese government is planning to unleash an act of unimaginable geological terrorism that could devastate the U.S. East Coast, striking it with waves up to a thousand feet high. They plan to set off nuclear devices to participate or precipitate a gigantic landslide that will send a death-dealing tsunami across the Atlantic. In the Central Asian Republic of Kazakhstan, 12 nuclear warheads stolen by the Russian Mafia are about to be smug smuggled out of the country and delivered into the hands of the conspirators. Charlie and Elia go on an intercept mission, but before they can retrieve them, the weapons vanish. Um, I won't read farther down than that. Um, I want you to actually read this book for yourself and uh, find out what happens in the rest of it, like like me. Um, I will do a review of this when I am done reading it. I will probably read this one first because it's only a 14-day loan, and the others are three weeks. So, um, okay, once again, that's the three books that I've gotten from the library that I'm going to read, and um, that's about it for now. All right. Till next time, good night.